Hi everybody, Leah here from Isaac Canada Immigration Consulting located in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. In today's video, we are going to be sharing information about paper-based permanent resident applications are now going to be switching to 100% online and it's going to be rolling out gradually. So I'm going to be sharing the dates here with you today so that you're ready when you submit your permanent resident application to Canada. For those of you who are new here today, welcome, welcome. For those of my returning viewers, I'm happy to see you here today. And if you end up liking this video, hit that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, subscribe. Um, we provide Canadian immigration updates, Canadian Im immigration news, information about programs, um, and other information that may be relevant to you on your immigration journey to Canada. Let's get started. So as you guys know, Last year, in 2021, the government of Canada made over half a million decisions and welcomed over 400,000 new permanent residents. Now, you got to know that this is the greatest number of Canada welcoming newcomers to the country in a year in Canada's history. And I'm not sure if you guys remember, I made a video about this, I believe, last year, but the government of Canada proposed... 85 million in new funding to reduce application inventories and welcome new immigrants to help address Canada's labor shortages. Since March 2021, IRCC launched, soft launched, a permanent resident digital intake portal that enabled some permanent resident applicants to apply online for permanent immigration programs. The online option gave PR applicants more flexibility to apply from like you know, their devices and avoid any further COVID-19 related mailing delays. What's good about the portal is that it allows clients to receive immediate confirmation that they've successfully submitted their application. Because you know, in the past, when you submit the paper-based application, it's like a giant file, it goes in and uh, you know, you're worried, oh, did it get to the office? Did it get there? So this way, you know immediately that you've submitted it and you have confirmation. And IRCC also developed a separate portal to allow PR applicants who are inside of Canada to finalize their PR process and get their PR card without any in-person interaction. So it really reduced kind of all that work that you had to do from before. And um, just so you know, from June to December 2021, 225,000 permanent residents have used this portal. The portal has been expanded and it's currently open to most permanent resident program applications. But starting this September at the end of the month, IRCC will be transitioning to 100% digital applications for most permanent resident programs. So this means that clients of specific programs after certain dates must apply online. If you're not able to apply online and you require accommodation, because of disability or other reasons, then you will be able to contact IRCC to request an alternate format. Otherwise, if you submit after the dates I list and you submit paper-based, your applications received after these transition dates, they're going to be returned to you. So make sure you pay attention to these dates that I'm gonna share with you so that you don't miss um, the deadline and apply by accident with paper. Like if you put your whole paper application together and you're gonna submit after the dates I've said, make sure you're aware so you can um, apply through the online portal instead so your application does not get returned to you. So starting September 23rd, 2022, provincial nominee programs, non-express entry, Quebec selected skilled workers, sponsoring a spouse or partner, sponsoring a dependent child, sponsoring an eligible relative, sponsoring an orphan sibling, niece or nephew or grandchild, adopting a child through the immigration process, and the rural and northern immigration pilot starting September 23rd, 2022, those will now transition to online applications. So make sure if you're working on these applications right now, after September 23rd, you must submit them online. Starting October 7th, 2022, the Quebec selected investors, Quebec selected entrepreneurs, and self-employed people Quebec must submit their applications online through the online PR portal. Starting October 14th, 2022, the agri-food pilot, the startup visa, the temporary resident permit holders applying for permanent resident, you must all submit your applications online 
starting October 14th, 2022. The next date, October 21st, 2022, the home support worker pilot, the home child pilot, which reopens to new applications on January 1st, 2023, humanitarian and compassionate ground, and self-employed people for federal. Again, after October 21st, 2022, those applications need to be submitted online for PR. And the last one listed is, is transitioning on October 28th, 2022, and that's for the Atlantic Immigration Program. So if you're in the process of preparing these applications, please pay attention to the dates I just listed so that you can make sure to submit your application online, not paper-based because you don't wanna submit it after the dates I listed because you don't want the application, the paper-based application that you mail in to be sent back to you because you're gonna be spending money on postage, all the paper, all that stuff. So make sure you start scanning your documents now and getting your everything prepared for your uh, digital online application for PR. And if you're in this situation where you're applying for PR for one of these programs, congratulations, I'm super excited for you. If you do need help with any of your um, immigration needs, please reach out to us, book an appointment through our website for initial consultation. And that's how we can get started in learning more about you, your needs, and how we can help you in your immigration journey to Canada. Okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video and put your comments below. Are you going to be submitting soon after any of these dates? Are you already there? Have you used the portal yourself? How has it been? Tell us about your experience. Okay, everybody, you take care. Bye-bye.